Are crypto ETFs the future of the world of finance and cryptocurrencies? Okay, recently, the first spot Bitcoin ETF in Europe was registered. So, congrats on it. But what about the United States? Why is it still not launching there and what Gary Gensler has to do with that? But first, what on earth ETFs are? For those of you living under a rock, let's break down this concept. So, let's explore the basics of ETFs, see their benefits, what it has to do with the crypto world, and how you can profit from it. And yeah, you definitely want to know it, because quite soon, this spot BTC ETF will revolutionize the way we approach investing in both traditional and crypto markets. So, let's roll. All right. Let's start by demystifying the term ETF. ETF stands for Exchange Traded Fund. But what does that mean? Well, it simply describes a fund that's traded on an exchange, just like stocks. Let me try to make it very simple. So, when a fund issues an ETF, it's like creating a huge basket filled with different necks. The fund welcomes you to invest in it, so this basket will grow allowing you to buy its shares, without you having to create your own basket and hassle with picking and paying for each egg. So, in other words, a trusted fund has this diversified ready-made ETF portfolio that contains different investments like stocks, bonds, and other securities. And then it divides it into shares, and each share grants you a piece of that entire portfolio. So, this way, you are instantly invested in multiple assets without the hassle of storing and managing them individually. So, what's in it for you? You see, when buying assets individually, each one has its own price movement and transaction costs. However, ETFs offer a solution. First, they decrease transaction costs. When you buy individual stocks, each comes with its own transaction fees. But with ETFs, you just buy it once, and thus, transaction costs are significantly reduced. Moreover, ETFs can help decrease volatility. Stocks can be unpredictable. But investing in an ETF, it's all about diversification here. You are spreading your risk across multiple assets, smoothing out those ups and downs. Besides, ETFs simply save your time and effort compared to buying multiple individual stocks, so it's practical and cost-effective. ETFs track and analyze a wide variety of assets, and usually mirror the performance of stock indexes or market sectors, with varying levels of diversification. Think about it in this way. You could invest in an ETF tracking the S&P 500 index, effectively owning a piece of 500 companies. All that diversity is bundled up into one investment. Besides, traditional ETFs are the most popular investment instruments in the US and Europe. Okay, so here are some examples of popular ETFs on the market. SPDR S&P 500 ETF. Basically, it tracks the performance of the S&P 500 index, which represents a broad cross-section of the US stock market. Invesco Triple Q Trust mirrors the performance of the NASDAQ 100 index, which includes 100 of the largest non-financial companies listed on the NASDAQ stock market. iShares Russell 2000 ETF follows the Russell 2000 index, which represents the small cap segment of the US equity market. Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF aims to replicate the performance of the SRSP US Total Market Index, covering the entire US stock market. And by the way, right now, investing in AI sector, for example, through ETFs has pretty good potential, as it could lead to significant returns, as the market share is expected to reach $2 trillion by 2030. So, here you can see the list of top performing options in the market right now. By the way, ETFs aren't limited to traditional stocks. 
They are also making their mark in the crypto world too. Crypto ETFs are investment funds that track the performance of various cryptocurrencies or basket of cryptos. These ETFs allow investors to gain exposure to the price movements of cryptocurrencies without the need to purchase and store the actual digital assets. So as you can see, BTC ETF is kind of similar to traditional ETFs, except for the ETF issuer holds BTC or some other assets and investors buy shares in that ETF, which, as you know, represent a fraction of the overall fund. So imagine it as a bridge between traditional finance and the crypto market. By introducing crypto ETFs, the crypto world is potentially opening its doors to a broader range of institutional investors who might be, well, hesitant to directly trade cryptocurrencies due to regulatory concerns, custody challenges, and other complexities. So speaking of crypto ETFs pros, First, it is a huge step to mass adoption, opening doors to a broader audience. However, it can be a downside too, as people might not take into account the basics of the crypto market and also risk reward balance. Second, it's just an easy way for retail investors to invest in crypto. Next, it will bring increased investments and fresh capital into the crypto market. And finally, BTC ETFs might pave the way for Bitcoin to be finally traded on traditional exchanges. So what do you say? Overall, it has potentially positive impacts on both parties. And by the way, there are BTC ETFs that are already present on traditional exchanges, like those in the USA, Australia, and Canada. However, they are not spot BTC ETFs. They are rather linked to Bitcoin futures. So I won't go down into the details about why is that and how, but the real game changer here would be Spot BTC ETF. So let's talk about that. Despite the buzz around approving those Spot BTC ETFs, it seems like Europe is leading the way in allowing institutional investors to safely invest in Bitcoin through regulated structures. So as I said earlier, a couple of days ago, the first Spot Bitcoin ETF went live in Europe, in Amsterdam. The ETF will trade under the ticker Bitcoin. However, despite its intricacies as Bitcoin is registered on the island state of Guernsey, which is actually not a part of the EU, so technically this Spot BTC ETF is not European ETF. However, it is a huge step toward spot BTC ETF adoption and maybe crypto in general. But it seems that the United States is falling behind in the ETF market as SEC delays all Bitcoin ETF decisions until 2024. This is actually detrimental to the US and the whole crypto industry. And yeah, it's not like the first time. Around 30 applications for spot crypto ETFs of different major funds have been declined by regulators or are still pending approval. The American regulatory watchdogs, especially the SEC and Gary Gensler, are concerned about various factors. But the main ones include high risks, market manipulation, and lack of investor protection. For example, Recently, the SEC rejected Grayscale's recent application to convert its Spot Grayscale Bitcoin Trust GBDC into an ETF last June, arguing the proposal did not meet standards aimed at preventing fraudulent practices and protecting investors. And yeah, Grayscale sued the regulatory almost immediately after its proposal was denied. And yet, yeah, experts say Grayscale has 70% chance of winning its lawsuit. And there is another glimmer of hope. Finance giants like BlackRock are throwing their hats into the ring too. Recent applications for a spot BTC ETF have sparked positive sentiment in the crypto market. And yeah, the SEC may approve BlackRock's spot BTC ETF application to just save face due to Grayscale's potential lawsuit victory. Now, 
How can you ride this wave of potential profit? Actually, there is nothing new here. Just remember, ETFs are like stocks. So you make money by buying low and selling high. Besides, you can also earn from dividends, but some ETFs may or may not pay them. And just like stocks, ETFs can be bought and sold throughout the day on the exchange. ETFs are usually considered for short-term investing because ETFs encourage impulsive buying and selling, which goes actually against smart long-term investing, but still most people only need to buy, hold and sell and then retire. If you want to buy ETFs, it's actually quite simple. You just need to set up a brokerage account, fund your account, research and choose ETFs you like. Also, keep in mind that brokerage platforms may vary in terms of layout and features, but the general steps for buying ETFs remain consistent. Otherwise, just consult a financial advisor depending on your jurisdiction and citizenship. So, there you have it, folks. With major players like BlackRock getting involved, the future holds promise. Besides, when such news broke down, BTC hit 31k last month. So, who knows how much it will be when spot BTC ETFs will be finally approved. Maybe next year could see such approval. So, what do you think? Leave your thoughts and comments down below and stay tuned. Besides, it's not like Gary Gensler is staying there forever, right?